I have a large collection of fan-made banners and things like that. And it's just these kind of embodiments of passion that you get from someone trying to create something new that they that shows how much they care for something. You get a lot of you know things popping up on Instagram these days, and buy it, buy a banner for ten pounds or whatever, and it's kind of soulless with these fake typefaces you can buy off the internet for ninety nine p. But I really, really like seeing someone kind of come up with something that's the embodiment of their passion for the game. It's not about it being kind of beautifully written or beautifully kind of you know perfectly created or crafted. It's not about kind of the typesetting or the colours at use. It's about the fact that it's been made by hand by a fan, probably in their bedroom. Clearing out the, clearing out the, you know, get the wardrobe out of the way, get the bed out of the way, get enough room, get it just right. We were, you know, mostly inspired by things we'd seen in the archives. So there was some really interesting materials used. Be it the kind of the PVC leather in the pennants, velvet for the cap worn by Liz Dagan, even down to the paper in the football programs. We kind of particularly interested in looking at the visual language that fans use, and then tying that in a kind of a terrace style way of presenting the banners. It's shows the love and warmth that the fan has for their team. We took great inspiration from the fan culture of the women's game, is that it still exists on a large grassroots scale. Because of that, the fan culture is kind of very, you know, it's strong and it's, it's important that it is recognised. And there's also the point as when you kind of reach the more professional levels, especially as we go into the Women's World Cup, that a fan is a fan, regardless of the team or the club or the country that they're following. A fan is a fan. And because of that, there's the kind of the, the, the beautiful uh, language of, of fans that transcends any kind of form of football that's being played. Football fan culture is a, is a witty thing, it's not a downtrodden thing. And... England fans, regardless of the male or female team, have been quite pessimistic in my lifetime. The idea that you know we didn't do that well with when we should have done maybe in the past. And now, especially with the, the, the men's team doing better than expected, I think that renewed an optimism into the English, into England as a, as a kind of concept. And now that the England women's team are doing very, very, very well, and that we actually think we can win it, I think that's kind of a stark contrast to, to tournaments in the past. And it's one that's, yeah, provided real, real hope and excitement.